Welcome everybody back to Friar Talk. It has been a couple weeks since we were all together and recording, um, but started the off season. So we're going to be going over some player option stuff today. Uh, we're planning to have about three episodes out this week. Also going to be posting a lot of the shorts to over overall MLB free agency and stuff throughout the rest of the year and probably early next year um, up until spring training. So we'll be having a lot of short stuff. Um, we have TikTok, Instagram, stuff like that. So we, we post a short content that we also have on YouTube there as well. Um, but looking forward to this off season, I think this is going to be a big time, like big splash off season for the Padres, just because coming off one of the best years ever for this franchise. And it's become very clear that Peter Seidler is willing to spend. Um, so today, tomorrow, probably early, like early on throughout this free agency period, we'll be talking more about the internal guys for this team. You know, guys like today, we're going to be talking about jerks and profile, Robert Suarez, Will Myers, um, the first two declined their options, and then the Padres declined Will Myers' option. Um, so we're going to be talking about if they're returning to San Diego. I think tomorrow we're going to have an episode out on where Tatis is going to potentially play, um, and then we'll kind of be, start going through free agents a little bit um, and just guys that we think are, are good matches for the Padres and guys that they could go after. Um, I will say I think this is going to be a super fun offseason because I think we're going to see the Padres linked to like a lot of high profile names, um, which is going to be super exciting for us and super exciting for, for all Padre fans, honestly, because I will be shocked if I don't hear, Oh, the Padres are looking into DeGrom, Aaron, you know, like judge, basically whoever it is, like any high high profile name, we're going to hear them Rodon, like stuff like that. So not that they're not going to necessarily land them, but we're definitely going to hear it. So today let's get going. Jerkson Profar, Robert Suarez, Will Myers. They are all free agents now. Um, but Chase, Isaac, uh, what do you guys think? Do you think that any of them are going to be retained? And if so, who do you think the Padres are going to be able to bring back? And let's start with you, Chase, because you're right below here. Um, I don't think Profar is coming back just because it seems like he wants more money. And realistically, you can upgrade. Uh, can probably get an upgrade at left field bat-wise for about the same money that Profar wants. I think he had a 733 OPS last year. It's a little below average. Usually average sits around 750. He was a plus defender in that regard. Um, you can probably find a guy with a little bit more speed on the bases. I know he's probably his guy. That's the only me making me like hesitant to say that he's not going to be back. He has been Preller's guys for like the past, what, 10 years when he was a number one prospect on the Rangers. He played on the Rangers. He finally got him back from the A's, and he's over here. It's also one of the reasons I think Gallo is going to be a Padre, just because Gallo is another one of Preller's guys, and he sticks to his guys. Um, Suarez definitely needs to come back. I think he just opted out for more money. He was one of the most valuable relievers towards the end of last season. Finished the season off with a 2-2-7 ERA. Um, he was our best reliever down the stretch. Uh, you've got to bring him back. With the addition of Palm coming back next year, it can be, be filthy at the back of the bullpen. Absolutely need them back. I think Will will come back, definitely for a cheaper contract. I think Bell is going to cost a little bit more money. And then if you want to bring back Drury, or, or you can bring back either Drury or Bell and Myers. You have to pick between Bell and Drury. And I think Myers gives you the most flexibility with position wise. He gives you the fourth position for the, or the fourth outfielder as a potential left or right fielder. And he can also be either depth at first or be your primary first baseman or a jury, either DHs, play lefts, or plays first. You know, it just do the most flexibility. So we come back on a cheaper contract. And he has the potential to bounce back. I mean, he had a pretty rough season. He started to hit towards the end of it. We kind of saw the Will Myers that of 2020 towards the end of the season. In his last like 30 games, he had over an 800 OPS. He had like a 270 average. He was hitting the ball. He was seeing the ball well. All that went to hell during the playoffs. I will admit that. But if we can get the Will Myers of the last half of the season, it'll be a pretty good bang for your buck. And you'd also have a great defensive first baseman. Yeah, Jerickson Profar, Robert Suarez, Will Myers all going into the season, not San Diego Padres. Um, kind of not not surprising. I think we all kind of expected it. What I didn't expect was Jerickson Profar's market value to be estimated to be so high. I mean, it's in 
it's like 16 mil plus that that's kind of absurd so for that reason only i kind of don't expect him to be a padre again that's kind of why it sucks so bad that they weren't able to get it done this year um because you know it was a very tight knit team you kind of saw it throughout the playoffs they were such a fun team to watch because they bonded so well and the chemistry was off the charts for sure it felt like and that's why it sucks that they didn't win it man i mean nonetheless i mean we didn't even get to say that it was a very fun season one of the most fun i've seasons i've ever watched the most fun season i've ever watched and probably my favorite san diego padres team ever so that was super fun and uh i'm glad that these three guys that are leaving were able to enjoy that nonetheless i want them to be able to enjoy it again um, but jerkson profar is very expensive i don't anticipate him being in left field for the padres this year um i think maybe there's a slight chance only because aj probably likes him he is a great clubhouse guy manny machado loves them how ha Hassan kim loves them the guys love them so uh maybe for that reason alone that could be a, a you know a dictator as to where he might be back but i doubt it as for robert suarez his estimated market value right now is 6.5 million overpay him bro give him eight give him eight a year i'm okay with that because that's going to be a high leverage guy coming out of your bullpen who just had a fantastic year probably first or second best arm out of the bullpen. And he was super exciting to watch has nasty stuff with potential to get even better. I mean, he's going to be his second year in the MLB. His first year was already really good. And I, I, I only see him getting better to be honest. So you give him 8 million, you make, you make sure that guy does not leave your bullpen. You need him in, in your bullpen. Um, Will Myers. <laughs> oh, that's tough, man. I mean, yeah, if he's gonna come back, he better take like two mil for all the for all the money we gave him that he stole. I mean, he was horrible, um, but he was a lot of fun to watch in the playoffs, man. His, his defense was magnificent, magnificent over there at first base. Uh, he will probably be one of the cheaper guys that you get in the market. He's obviously not one of the top top guys in the market, but he's one of the cheaper guys. So I I, could, I think you could bring him back. For me, it's more of is he valuable to the clubhouse? Do the guys really like him that much? How bad do they want him back? And do you really think that he could be even average? I don't. Um, I think he's shown that he's a pretty below average player. Maybe at the plate, he's all right. Um, but in the postseason, it wasn't exactly that great. And throughout the seasons, you see him around a one war, two war. Trent Grisham just had an abysmal season at the plate. And he, pro and he posted a two, two and a half war, which is what Will Myers kind of averages on an average year or a good year. Um, that kind of tells me everything, but from what I see, I think you can get him for six, six mil for Will Meyer, six mil a year is not horrible. It's just, would you rather allocate that to someone else? Or, you know, there's a lot of questions for Will Myers. I mean, I, I don't hate the idea of bringing him back, but I just know that there's going to be a lot of frustration tied to him, but it'll be a little easier knowing he's not getting paid 20 mil anymore. Yeah, so I'll start with Will Myers just because I find it really interesting. I was watching just like a free agency kind of like introduction um, from a different channel from a guy that does like a full MLB channel. And he was talking about Will Myers. And he pointed something out that I would have never guessed. But do you guys know that Will Myers had an OPS plus of 108? I would have never thought that he had a positive OPS plus last year because he had no power compared to, to past seasons. And he definitely had some big time slumps, which I, I just thought that was amazing. And also just kind of goes to show how bad offense was last year. Um, but he even had a positive OPS plus in a season where he looked awful, like awful for the majority of that year. Um, I like the idea of bringing him back because you brought up six million, Isaac, but let's say three teams offer him six million for agency, right? I also think that I don't think we'll see him back like immediately. I think that'd be like a later on in the off season type of deal. Like, I don't think that we should expect him to be back. Like, Oh, like before they actually like go out and try to get like these top end guys in the market. I think that it's more likely to like that Myers gets like three offers for five or 6 million. And maybe the Padres offer him four, but to him, it might be worth it to come back to San Diego for a little bit of a discount. So I could see that from him. Um, I honestly kind of expect him to be back. Not like it's a guarantee or anything like that, but I feel like decently confident that we'll see Will Myers in a Padres uniform next season. Um, and I think him as a as a depth kind of platoon guy at first base, I think it makes a lot of sense. Uh, does he strike out a lot? Yes. But if he grades out as a positive bat and he plays really good first uh, for, uh, defense at first base, that's a pretty valuable player. 
and you don't have to start him every day. You can get other power bats. You can get guys kind of playing first. You can have him as a fourth outfielder. Um, so I really like the idea of bringing Myers back. Um, Jerks and Profar, I highly doubt he's going to be back only because like, could, and also congrats to Jerks. And I mean, I feel like we over Jerkson's tenure, we kind of ripped Jerks in a decent amount. He balled out last year. Like he was in a, a year where he had an opportunity to be a full-time starter. We thought that was one of the weakest spots of this Padres lineup. He completely proved that long wrong last year and he was great. He was awesome. He was a really good left fielder and he's probably going to get broken off somewhere for like three years, 40, 50 million bucks somewhere. That is awesome for Jerks and Profar. So I think it kind of, you know, he's going to be most likely leaving, but he's definitely the type of person where it's like, congratulations, like you got your bag. Like that's awesome to see. So congrats to him because I do think he's going to get paid. I just don't think it's going to be for the Padres, unfortunately. Um, after that big year last year, I think that there's some other, you know, corner outfield bats that you can go after that are going to provide a little bit more pop, worse defense, but they're going to be significantly cheaper. And the putters are probably more likely to to allocate a little bit more money towards like a bigger bat, either at first base or in that in that corner outfield spot, um, and then probably starting pitching as well. Um, so I think that probably makes a little bit more sense that the putters will spend more money elsewhere. Um, but congrats to Jerkson because that's that's great to see. Um, and then the last guy, Robert Suarez. I think that the only reason he opted out because I think he was making like five and a half. I think that's what he slaves to five and a half or six next year. And he opted out and you look at, and spot track's not always right, but it was like six and a half million was his market value. I think it's more about not going into next season only under contract one year where he can come back and he can go, like you said, Isaac, I think it was what you said, 8 million. I could see like three or $24 million deal or something roughly like that. And I think that just makes a little bit more sense. Maybe he has a player option on that last year as well, but it's, I think it's more about having more control in his contract where he's actually, cause he's like almost 32, like uh, not almost 32 almost 30 also um but he's definitely one of those guys where you look at you go like okay he's gonna probably want to do what's best for him he hasn't played in in the bigs very long obviously last year was his his first season at 29 um so i think it just makes sense in terms of you want to kind of extend that contract extend how much money you're gonna be making over this this most likely not a super long mlb career um but i think that you're definitely gonna see him back i think out of the three he's the most likely guy to be back i think he's I would be shocked if he's not back, honestly. But I'd probably think that Robert Suarez, extremely likely to be back. Myers, probably back. And Jerkson is almost like a shot in the dark if they're like, we want to, we want to keep Jerkson. Like, he's our guy. Um, which would be, a, you'd be paying Jerkson a lot of money. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's that's all I got on those guys. Any Chase, I think you want to add some real quick? Yeah. Uh, my only concern with Suarez's contract is, y'all saw what Edwin Diaz said for, right? Yeah, and I see Isaac rolling his eyes. It was basically like the same contract we gave Musgrove. He's making twenty million a year as a closer, which I think is a little ridiculous for a guy that just one inning. Um, and do realize closer is a very valuable position. It's one of my favorite positions in baseball, and grew up. Well, obviously, we all watch Trevor Hoffman. We realize how important a closer is, but hopefully, you know, this doesn't inflate the reliever market too much. I know. Edwin Diaz is considered an elite closer and he got his bag, but hopefully this doesn't, you know, inflate the market to be like, okay, relievers are going for 10, $15 million a year now. Enjoy. That That is my only concern with Suarez right now. Yeah. I'm kind of scared. He's going to make 10. That Edwin Diaz contract was so stupid. The guy threw two. I mean, it's not his fault, but the guy threw two innings in the postseason. That's like the Mets story. You guys are never going to win anything. The Mets will never win anything. It's, it's written in stone. No matter who they get, they will never win anything. So even if they have Edwin Diaz throwing every single regular season W, he's going to throw like one or two postseason games, and they're not going to win. So I think it's it's just kind of useless because you sign them for 20 mil, you don't get Brandon Nimmo back, you probably don't get Jacob DeGrom back. You're losing guys that are much more important than a guy that throws one inning. And it's funny, Potter's channel. I'm ranting about the Mets. Like, I care about them. Like, we didn't just smoke them. But um, I'm just it, – it's frustrating because it, it it really might inflate the market for a guy that I really, really want to retain so bad. You know, I'm afraid that he's going to make $10 million, that you might have to overpay. I don't want that to be the case because I want to keep him. But at the same time, there's relievers out there. I mean, the Padres find a new reliever 
almost every year that really goes in there and starts contributing. They found, what, two or three this year? Robert Suarez, Nick Martinez are two. Luis Garcia in a way. I mean, there's guys that they're finding and that they're going to be getting back that, you know, will be fine. But I really want to bring Robert Suarez back. Um, but it's going to be really interesting seeing what happens here. I feel like we're going to have a Nick Martinez video probably here soon. We don't know what's going to happen with him. Praying to God that he opts in, even though I doubt it. I really want him back. Um, in all honesty, I would love to just run it back, man. I, I love I love that team, but I understand that, you know, guys are going to go and and we need to bring some guys in. Starting pitching is going to be a big deal. Um, right now it's just you, uh, Blake, and then Joe. And uh, I'm saying these guys on a first name basis. Um, Jay Groom. Jay Groom's in there. Um, hopefully Nick Martinez is in there. But realistically, you want to get one or two start, starting pitchers this offseason. Um, upgrade in the in a corner outfield spot and first base, and you're looking really good, man. You get Fernando back April 20th. It's going to be a very exciting season. I, I, I'm so sad that I have to wait for October baseball again, man. That was so much fun. But regarding these three, I hope to see at least one of them in a Padres uniform. Another I do not expect, and another I'm kind of torn on. I'm sure from my comments earlier, you guys probably know the answers to to which uh, – which one? I, which ones I'm kind of torn on, blah, blah, blah. But, you know, it was a very fun season. I'm looking forward to a fun off season for sure. I'll do that. I'll be the uh, conductor of the Bring Back Will train. I will ride for that man my entire life. So bring back Will. Yeah. All right, guys, I think it's probably going to do it for this one. I'm happy to be back, you know, a couple week break, but. I think we we need a sec after the long season, but I'm I'm pumped for this off season. I mean, Isaac, you you were saying, you know, I, Chase or Chase, you're bringing up bringing back Myers. Isaac, you're talking about running it back, stuff like that. But I honestly think this team's coming up in the next year. Obviously, the off season hasn't even really started at this point, but I think this is going to be a better Padres team in 2023 than it was this past season, where you saw a deep playoff run. You saw some amazing postseason baseball. So. It's it's a great time. It's a it's a real exciting time, and I think this is going to be an extremely exciting off season as well. But with that said, thank you guys for listening, and we'll be back tomorrow.